Welcome back. This week I uh, made progress with the DS3231 real time clock module. So, what that is, is this little module that I've uh, purchased off of eBay has a battery. There's the DS3231 chip, and it's been put on this board. And you get four pins. There's nothing really fancy here. One's power, one's ground, and one is the I squared C data, and one is the I squared C clock. So, there are different versions of this chip available. I think Adafruit has one that's uh, pretty robust. This chip can do a lot more. You can do square wave triggering with it and whatnot. But, in this uh, version here, we just get a clock chip. So, the chip can do a lot more than what this board's letting it do. But for what we want, this board is perfect. I wanted to be able to get a real-time clock for my radio project, and that's what I got. And the other fun thing that's going on here is that it is on the I squared C bus, and so is this TEA5767 module. So this Arduino is actually running two objects on there. So I squared C is great. So you can see how few pins I'm using, and I'm actually controlling a radio and a real-time clock. And we could easily add more modules, as long as you don't run out of addresses, or you don't uh, overload the cables. You get capacit uh, capacitance issues or attenuation and whatnot when you have too many devices, but I'd be really surprised if you ran into that. So, here's the radio working. It's on. So, that's running through there. Over here on my terminal, uh, I have it running so that you can see the frequency of the radio and the time. So it's just updating, it's just got a loop counter in the software and it's just kind of updating two, three, four times a second. And I can change the radio channel easy enough. Well, let's go back there. There you go. Change the channel. Clock's still going fine. And that's good. So what I'm probably going to do is post this code that I wrote. I'll toss it up on my blog once I clean it up a little bit. But if you go back in my blogs and my videos, you will see that I have the radio section here. So I have two functions for uh, setting the frequency and the tuning knob which uses the, uh, one of the uh, ADC pins on the Arduino. But I actually only added two more functions to cover everything the clock does. So I'll post this. I might tweak it out a little bit better. I'll post this up. Uh, unfortunately, the initialized clock you can see here, I used this to set the time in it initially, and I cheated. I actually just dropped the numbers in here and in my setup here, I only ran this once, then I commented out the function call. So I'll probably come up with a better way of doing that, but for right now, I'm happy. And if we go and we look at uh, Putty here, it says that it is 9.18. I set this up last night, and... Uh, Oh, 919, and you can see down here in my little taskbar that it is 919. So it has held the time properly for uh, over 24 hours, and I actually didn't even have this thing plugged in. So I think if you want to do a clock project, you need to have a uh, real-time clock module. And this 3231 came really cheap. I bought uh, two of them off of eBay, and they showed up like this. So I took one out. I always buy two. Uh, same with my TEA5767 module. I bought two of them because I wrecked one of them. And it doesn't hurt. The stuff's so cheap that uh, you might as well. So anyway, check out my blog. I'll post the code. You can roll back and uh, look at some older posts so that you can see the radio part. And on my written blog, you will also see that I put up a full schematic for the radio section of this. So if you just want to build an Arduino radio, uh, you can use that information. If you want to add a clock to it, great. If you actually just tossed an LCD screen on this, you'd actually have a clock project done pretty quick. I actually have this module. This is a, uh, I think a 4x20 screen, and it runs on the I2C bus as well. So it would actually be really easy to finish this project if I was willing to use a normal LCD 
but I'm not because I'm going to actually use these IV9 tubes instead. So, uh, this is a long way to go. It's I hate soldering these things, but yeah, it's coming soon. So, stay tuned. That will probably be the next step is to finish that. And, uh, yeah, things are great. All right, have a good night.